Hi there, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today I just wanted to chat with you about um, some new ink pads that we've now got in stock. Uh, these are Coloured Box Premium Dye ink pads and they work fantastically well with the jelly plate. As a lot of you know, I've struggled so hard um, since Adirondack have stopped making their ink pads to find an ink that suits the jelly plate. The Distress inks are actually okay, um, but they bead very much so because of the high water content in it. And that's absolutely fine, there's nothing wrong with that. But some of you didn't like that. Some of you wanted a smooth finish like the Adirondack. So I'm just going to show you the difference now, what these uh, ink pads can do. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate working on the jelly plate. Starting now with the yellow, I'm going to ink up and just blend straight onto the jelly plate. Now it's taken me a while and a lot of experimenting to find these ink pads so I'm really thrilled at the um, at how they come out actually so okay so I've just put on pink now I'm going to blend that in and already you can see that there's no beading like there would be with the distress so I'm going to ink up in our VersaFine and again I'm going to just stamp as I do onto the jelly plate and then taking a card lay that over the top, smooth that down And look at that, <clears throat> I just think that's one of the best um, uh, finishes that, um, that I've had actually of testing a lot of different ink pads. Um, the colours are fantastic, um, I just, I absolutely love these. So I'll be doing a lot more demonstrating now with these colour box premium dye ink pads. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to demo another background now with the colour box inks. So starting with the um, the orange this time, inking up, placing that straight down onto the jelly plate. And you don't actually need that much ink at all. It's so vivid um, and it does go a long way. And then picking up the lilac colour. Again, inking up the brayer and blending that straight on. Like so. And then inking up in my VersaFine, just to stamp gently onto the jelly plate, like so. Taking a piece of our um, real super smooth matte card, placing that down, give that a gentle rub over. And there we have, again, another fantastic, uh, colourful background that um, I'm going to cut both of these cards up now and, and then get stamping. Okay, so I've just cut um, our first card down now um, and we're going to start stamping onto this. Um, so using the uh, VersaFine, the Deep Lagoon. I'm going to ink up one of our new stamps. Uh, 
and then just placing her down like so. Give that a good press. And we're going to stamp up some of our mushrooms. Again, uh, the Versify. This is the uh, Imperial Purple. So, another good press. And then I always like putting a few words around the image. Um, it just gives it a little bit of um, depth, a bit of texture. So picking one of our verses and inking up, I think again in the deep lagoon. And then stamp off first and then just place that round. Just do a little more there, like so. Now I'm going to tear some of the paper we have here so that we can ground our fairy. And then using one of our um, smoothies and picking one of our colours. And you can see how well these inks come out. Doesn't need much at all. Beautiful, really vibrant colour. Okay, so that's grounded our fairy there. So what we're going to do now is just go around the edge of the card. So, again going back to our smoothie. Take that around the edge. like so these smoothies are great as well so easy to use see how vibrant this blue is it's it's just stunning okay i should have my little blending mat underneath but I can't find it. That would make my life a little bit easier. Anyway, you can get the general gist of how wonderful these colours really are. Okay, so moving on to the next card that um, I just trimmed down. Uh, I'm going to ink up another one of our new fairies um, using the Deep Lagoon again. I think sometimes it's quite nice working in a colour rather than just black for the uh, silhouettes. Okay, so just popping that down, give that a good press always stamp onto a wad of paper that actually helps disperse the pressure giving you a really nice sharp image and then taking a few of the words again this time we'll ink up in the uh, crimson red and just take that first impression off and then we're just going to 
Again, Bob, a few of the words around the edge there. Like so. And then finishing off at the bottom, we're going to stamp some poppies just to even, even the area up. And there we go. So all I'm going to do now is go around the edge of the card with a colour. Um, I didn't find my blending mat so I'm going to use a piece of uh, Yupo paper which does exactly the same thing. Um, it just enables you to slide, slide the um, blending tool over the edge. So picking a colour now um, something to complement. I think we'll go with a, a green. I must learn the names of these. This one's actually uh, artichoke. Um, so using our smoothie and just going around the edge of the card What a stunning colour, and there's so much of it. You only need such a little bit. Just blends so well. And there we have it. Such a quick um, and easy way of creating uh, a really super card. Hope you enjoyed it.